So, second of our hunter chases a three mile six furlong handicap. Hard, hardly a call for James Shea's number one. Shadow play for Daniel French is two. Whenever Dragoon for Alex Cherry is three. Blooming chaser for Darren Thompson is four. Tan Barra and Fifi for Paul Rhodes are five and six. Or Mellow Ounces for Martin Eden is seven. Grand Article for Alex Cherry is eight. Deacon Blues for Derek Hinton is nine. And Botman for Dan Hughes is number ten. They're away here. There's lots of slog round. Three miles and six furlongs. They're over the first fence. Number 29. I can imagine uh, some of these may well not be uh, featuring later in a few people's stables. There's a couple of uh, top trainer horses in here. Both Fifi and Tambora for Paul Rhodes. And then Blooming Chaser for Mr. Thompson. Normally find them hobnobbing with the hunt chase class. They've had uh, certainly not got a tip top stable as we normally see in starters' orders. I'm sure they, uh, some of these may well be leaving the stable, but it's whenever Dragoon that's been leaders here from Botman in second. A couple of greys out wide, Hardy a called them blooming chaser. As we come towards the fence, Deacon Blues, Grand Article, and Shadow Play. Uh, for two Paul Rhodes horse, Fifi and Tambora. And all mellow ounces out wide for Martin Leader, winner of our previous. We go over the fifth. If you look at the form card, there's more letters than the alphabet amongst the form of this lot of horses. I think there's only two that don't have a letter next to their name. The majority of them, the majority of them do. So we can expect to probably see some falls, some pull ups, some unseated riders. Plenty of duck eggs, so it's whenever Dragoon that leads us from Botman into the six. Whenever Dragoon just went through the stop of it, as well as all mellow ounces out wide, promotes himself into the last position. It's whenever Dragoon, Botman, Hardy are called, that wide blooming chaser. Fifi's moved up a little bit now. Deacon Blues is there as it gets to the seventh. Yeah, everyone will say, impressive. Pretty much everyone got over it. No mistakes to be had by any. But it's still whenever Dragoon from Botman. Nice close order. They get to the eighth. Small ditch. And again, they'll jump that one well. No surprised us. And it's Botman draws alongside whenever Dragoon. These two, neck and neck. So through about a mile of this now. And it's whenever Dragoon and Botman. And that wide blooming chaser, the great. A big line of horses there. And just length and half back to the two at the rear are Mellow Ounces and Tambora. But it's whenever Dragoon and Botman to lead over the ninth. Very slow jump there by Botman. Whenever Dragoon just jumped it well. Get to the tenth. Already took that one well. A bit of a peck on landing by Tambora at the rear. Get to the eleventh. Everyone's over that as well. Although our Mellow Ounces jockey. Lucky he had a bit of super glue in his boots. On his stirrups, because he was certainly on his way out of that. It's been about the most exciting thing so far. We get to the 12th. This time it's somebody else to hang on in their seat, and that was Fifi's jockey. And it's still whenever Dragoon and Botman really having your 1 2. We get to the 13th. Nice jump there by whenever Dragoon. Got into it nice and close, stayed low, fast. Jumps himself into a Length and a half advantage from Botman. Grand article in Deacon Blues. And we got Shadow Play. Blooming Chaser. Fifi just pushing between those two. We get to the 14th. Everyone jumps that well. Shadow Play was a little bit slow over it, giving it plenty of height. So we're two miles still to go. And still being led by whenever Dragoon and Botman. From Grand Article, Deacon Blues and Fifi. A grey blooming chaser. The first of the grey, should I say, because Hardy Accord is a grey towards the rear. Mellow Ounces is the wisest of all. Now we'll jump that well. Blooming chaser jumped over it quick and fast. But it's still whenever Dragoon. Leading from Botman, Grand Article. Blooming chaser, Deacon Blues and Fifi. Shadow Play. Widest of all on mellow ounces. Second and last towards the rear great, hardly a called. And Tambora. As they get to the 16th, it's the water. Everybody jumps that surprisingly well. 
Probably one for you, Mark. I still think there should be a few little mistakes that happen at the water. They get to the 17th, it's a big old ditch. And everybody's over it. Oh no, we've lost one. Fifi's gone. She flipped a rider there. Unlucky to Paul, you still got one in it. We're going to start making a few more mistakes. Your other one is Tambra, which is in the rear, which went over that one rather slowly. And it's still whenever Dragoon leading into the 19th, a small little ditch. And they all get over it, including the riderless Tambra. Oh no, Fifi, that is. Although it's beating the horse with the rider, which is Tambra, heading into the 20th. Everyone's over it. I suppose anyone could still win from here. tambra has got the most work to do. He's probably 15 lengths from the lead. There's a couple of chasing packs. The first chunk's being led by Botman, Deacon Blue, Shadow Play, and Grand Article together. They're length and a half back to the two greys, Blooming Chaser, Darren Thompson, Hardy of Cord, and still wide as always a Mellow Ounces. Tambra still uh, happy to be behind his riderless stable mate, Fifi. We go over the 21st. Pace getting a little, little bit quicker now, but not by much. It's still whenever Dragoon and Botman with Shadow Play and Deacon Blues together. And half length back to Stable Mate Grand Article. And they're going out wide. And in Chaser. There's still seven fences to jump. And still under a mile to travel. That's whenever Dragoon takes it well. Botman didn't jump it all well. And shuffles back down the pack now. Now Shadow Play to move into second. Moving still comfortably on the out wide outside is Blooming Chaser. He's under a little bit of pressure now, moving into a better position is Grand Article. So it's whenever Dragoon still inside the six. Gets to the next. Takes it well. There's everybody else moving also wide outside is Hardy a call to throw down the challenge, the top weight. But it's whenever Dragoon now. Heads for home inside the five. Leads by a length and a half from stable mate Grand Article. Goes over the twenty-fourth, jumps it well. Grand Article was a little bit quicker and got away better. Shadow playing third. Out wide is Hardy a call, but he's got the most weight to carry. So we come down to half a mile from home, and it's whenever Dragoon from Grand Article. These stable mates will challenge each other as they come down to the next. And it's whenever Dragoon and Grand Article. The the two greys that are running on really well now, Hardy Accord and Blooming Chaser, but it's Grand Article that takes it up now as whenever Dragoon starts to go backwards a little bit, hasn't got a lot left, but it's Grand Article and whenever Dragoon, they're still a length and a half away from Blooming Chaser and Hardy Accord. Good jump there by Grand Article, the leader over the 26th, with only just 27th comes, and he's over that as well, but he's going to be run down now by Blooming Chaser. So it's Grand Article inside the final half mile, Grand Article and Blooming Chaser, Hardy Accord, whenever Dragoon, Grand Article. Being challenged now by Blooming Chaser out wide with a third and a half to go. They go over the penultimate, and Blooming Chaser gets over it best. And it's Blooming Chaser now. Blooming Chaser starting to pull away inside the final fell. He's only got to get over the last. With Grand Article slowing up now. Hardy a pull running on well. The leader gets over it a little bit slow, but he's only got half a furlong. He's going to hang on to this, and it's going to be Blooming Chaser. From Darren Thompson stays from Hardy a in second. Grand Article on third. Shadow play four. And then more mellow ounces five. That's your one, two, three, four, five for race 36. There's a win for, I think, Darren Thompson with Blooming Chaser. Hardy of Cord was second. Grand Article third. And here's Darren Thompson. Second was Hardy of Cord for James Shea. Third was Grand Article for Alex Cherry. Fourth was Shadow Play for Daniel French. And fifth was our Mellow Ounces for Martin Leader.